Good day everyone. Today, videos is on customary international humanitarian law. As an introduction, this topic discusses the other main source of international humanitarian law, i.e. customary international humanitarian law. It is important to understand the way in which treaty law and customary law complement each other. In particular, customary international law fills up the gap not covered by treaty law in both international and non-international armed conflict. What is customary international law? Rules that come from a general practice accepted as law and its existence does not depend on treaty law. Customary international humanitarian law, unlike treaties, are informal law. For a general practice to be accepted as customary law, it has to fulfill two requirements. First requirement, it has to be shown that the rule is reflected in state practice. The state practice needs to be adequately widespread, uniform, representative and frequent. Meanwhile, the second requirement, the practice has to be carried out with the belief among state that they are bound to act or abstain from acting in a certain manner. This requirement is also known as opinio juris. For customary international law to exist, we must have state practice that has to be widespread, uniform, representative and frequent. And this state practice has to be aided with opinio juris, a belief that the state practice is legally binding upon them. Customary international law. In armed conflict, although states may, be, may sign important treaties, the states are nevertheless still need to adhere to customary international law. Customary international law is crucial in governing non-international armed conflict, i.e. those that involve armed groups that took place within domestic boundaries. In 1995, the ICRC took the effort to identify customary law and clarify the legal protection that it offers to those engaged in armed conflict. The task took 10 years to complete and it was published by Cambridge University Press in 2015. This study can be assessed in http www.icrc.org slash customary IHL. Divided into two parts, namely Volume 1, Rules and Volume 2, Practice. Volume 1 Rules is a comprehensive analysis of a customary IHL, international and non-international armed conflicts. Meanwhile, Volume 2, Practice, contains summary of relevant state practice, legislation, military manuals, case law and official statement for each aspect of international humanitarian law. It also contains practice of international organization, conference and judicial or quasi-judicial bodies. Customary law is as crucial as treaty law in international humanitarian law. Particularly in non-international armed conflict, customary law fills up the gap not covered by treaty law. Customary international law is binding onto non-state party to a treaty except to those that persistently objected to adhere to customary international humanitarian law, also known as persistent objector. These are the Philippine dialogue, deepening dialogue on humanitarian law and Islamic law. And these are Malaysian International Humanitarian Law Conference commemorate 150 years of the first Geneva Convention.